I think we're recording now. What up, everybody? Beautiful people. Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. It is time again to do 2017 Panini Prism Football Hobby. Six box, half case break number two. Um, let's get to it. You got it, Katie. All right. And as always, good luck, everybody. Very nice, Abraham. Always kind to the folks. I thought I lost my uh, my cutter. gonna need to put this away and grab some boxes got a few here probably take like four boxes or so all right here we go let me open this up uh, yes orange kiwi you are absolutely correct this is the half case uh, for the eBay what up James Bow? did you miss me You got the brownies. Looking for the Kaiser. Got you. Kaiser did all right the last game he played. He didn't throw a pick. So that's, that's progress, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I was talking about him earlier, how Kershaw is like... The biggest choke artist when it comes to the postseason, but he's great in the uh, in the regular season. Like, who's crying and banning people? What are you talking about? People can't take a joke. Really, James Bo? Wow. Well, I mean, that's that's on them. All right, let's see what's in this stuff. So, starting us off to 189, Marquis Goodwin of the Niners. Really, James Bow? Wow. Well, uh, one thing I would, I'll probably, ne I'll ne I would never do that. Robert Kelly of the Redskins Orange. That's number 275. What's up, Rick? Dropping knowledge before you even say hi to Uncle Jesse. Rude. What else we got here? To 149, Isaiah Crowell of the Browns. Nothing here. Cameron Meredith of the Bears to 275. Got some green for Alex Smith and the Chiefs. That's number 299. Really, James Bow? That got you the band? Well, listen, you don't need to be hanging out anywhere but here, anyways. So, yeah. First autograph is for Carl Lawson of the Bengals. Which, uh, hold on, let me fix this because it's starting to bother me. My lighting fixture or whatever fell. So it was kind of at a at an ugly angle. Well, listen, I'll be honest, man. I was pretty upset when the when the Heat lost to the Mavericks. Back in the day, LeBron's first season of here, I was pretty upset. But like, uh, like, come on, man! David Moore, the Seahawks, to one forty nine. 
They're paying eleven hundred dollars for next game tickets. Ugh. Oh, you're the Mavericks. Well, yeah. Listen, you probably had a lot of shit to talk, but whatever. It's just a game. Evan Ingram of the Giants instant impact. Unless, of course, you bet on the game, then that's another story. C.J. Beathard of the Niners orange. Listen, I, you you deserve it because after that performance, Dwayne Wade put on your boys. Yeah, you deserve it. TJ Watt of the Steelers to 49. That is a nice card. I don't care. We won in 2006. As far as I'm concerned, we good. You mean 2006. To there you go, James Bodine. Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs to 199. Oh, Tyreek Hill threw that interception, so that's going to affect me. Not cool, Tyreek Hill. Not cool. Derek Barnett of the Eagles to 25. Well, it's only the first quarter, so you can make up for that, boy. Mark Barron of the Rams to 99. Dude, I was so happy when the Heat won their first championship, bro. I was crying. I was literally crying. Tears of just pure unbridled joy. Like, kind of like when some of you guys had your firstborn child. That was my firstborn child. Like, I was crying tears of joy. I was in my boxers. I ran outside the house, and I ran, I ran down the street with pots and pan. And I was just super happy. I think that's the happiest I've ever been in my life. That's including losing my virginity and all that other stuff. Travis Rudolph of the Giants. With the auto there to 149. We won by a cheating referee. You see, why you got to go all there? Like, I didn't say anything about the Mavericks beating the the Heat, did I? I could have I thrown excuses out there, but no. You guys beat us fair and square just like we beat y'all fair and square. See, James Bodine, at this point, you just sound salty, bruh. Like, you got to take your losses with your wins and vice versa, bro. And you can't sit there and lie to me. Well, actually, never mind. You're, you're, you're just blinded by rage. But even to this day, we haven't seen a performance like Dwayne Wade's. You can sit there and say, oh, cheating, cheating. So, Dwayne Wade still made his free throws. So, what you talking about? Like that, like I find that so hilarious. Oh, the referee cheated for y'all. The ref, well, we still gotta make the free throws, buddy. So, so what happened there? The man averaged like twenty free throws a game or something stupid like that. <laughs> yeah, the Eagles are pretty stacked. Like it's not even, it's not even, it's not even, it's not even close. Well, yeah, for that series, Dwayne Wade went absolutely crazy. Like, and they, they've they been talking, like, even to this day, we haven't seen a performance like his, in the, like, from one player. The last time we've seen a performance that dominant, you can say what you want. Oh, he, you couldn't breathe on him, you get a foul. So the fuck what? So what? Kobe Bryant got the same treatment. Nobody says shit about Kobe Bryant. Michael Jordan got those treatments every single game of the playoffs. Don't even talk about the finals. But nobody was going to say nothing about that, right? But no, let, 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 let a Miami kid do it, and it's a problem. I love you too, James Bodine. This is only the second box. How am I biased, James Bodine? How, how? Well, I lied. I am biased. Oh, Dwayne Wade? He's my second favorite player of all time. Of course I'm going to be biased. But see, at least I'm honest and I'm biased.
like in my biasness is that a word like at least i'm honest at least i'm not like no bro what are you talking about bro no bro delvin cook bro for the vikings with the instant impact mac collins of the eagles another good player there for the eagles that's the 99 eagles i'm, I'm gonna call it best team in football right now but can they sustain it is the problem Jordan Matthews of the Bills. That's the 275. You hate Dwayne. I hate him too ever since he left the Heat. And now he's sucking ass for the Cavaliers. Like, at least last year he was averaging like 15, 20 points for the Bulls. Now he's really showing his age. It's kind of sad. Devontae Adams for the Packers. The 275. You know, if this continues, this is going to be his last season. And he's going to sign a day contract with the Heat and retire as a, as a, as a Heat player. Torrey Smith of the Eagles to the 99. You always hated Dwayne. Now, 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 who's biased now, James Bodine? Who's biased now? DeMarco Murray of the Titans. That is number 2-1 netted name. Yes, it is. I checked the back. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it going. Now, I do see the RPA in here. You want to kill him? Ow. Damn, James Bo. Tell us how you really feel. Raekwon McMillan for the Dolphins, who hasn't played a down for us because he got hurt in the preseason. Speaking of the preseason, I really hope they, like, tear that thing down to, like, two games. Damn, James Bo Dean. I, I love the hatred. Andrew Luck of the Colts to 149. That means he was doing something right. If you hate that much, you got to be doing something right, baby. Chad Williams for the Cardinals to 275. You know, when it comes to basketball, I can't really say I hate a player. I really can't. I used to hate Shaq for the same reason that I hate Tom Brady. He's just so damn dominant and so good. What's up, Rick? A little late, but how you doing? Yo, they're doing a 30 for 30 on Ric Flair? Oh, shit. ESPN has just moved up in my book. The Nature Boy! That is amazing. Dude, Tuesday, November 7th. Yo, I got to record that shit. To 99, Alvin Kamara of the Saints with the RPA. That is nice. As a Pats fan, I know all about hatred. Well, see, you know, the thing with you, Rick, is like, woo, the nature boy. That's going to be a good documentary. I fucking love the nature boy. OJ Howard of the Bucks, 299. To be the man, you got to beat the man. I love Dirk, too. He has one of the most, well, he had anyway, one of the most unstoppable moves. Uh, you put that man in the post to, you know, Back down, dribble twice. You fake right, fade left, bucket. Demarcus Walker of the Broncos with the auto to one four nine. The Nature Boy's daughter is she is kind of hot, but like I've seen pictures of her because you know internet. Derek Carr, the Raiders to seventy five. And uh, I will say this, she works out, you ever meet somebody that just works out way too much? Like, way too much? Like, they're too in shape. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she has no fat on her butt. She has, like, she's just way too skinny. Like, she needs to really eat some, she needs, she needs, to, she needs to hang out with your boy for like a week or two. I'll fan her up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, she is definitely a cutie patootie. But right now, I think the hottest wrestling chick right now is probably the uh, Alexa Bliss. I love Alexa Bliss. I actually watch wrestling, so there's that. Allen, profiling, limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, Willie dealing, son of a gun. Dude, you gotta love Ric Flair. You gotta love Ric Flair. Oh, dude. She is super athletic. I'm not saying she's not athletic. I'm saying she kind of looks unhealthy. Like, because she's too in shape. 
Like, I couldn't, like, come on now, let, let's be honest. Oh no, yeah, Trish is the hottest female wrestler ever. Actually, I would probably say, um, what's, what's her name? Tori, Tori, da Tori Smith, I think was her name? Tori Daniels or something like that? She was pretty hot. Lita was pretty hot. Sable was the OG. Stone Cold's wife. Y'all remember Sable? I know y'all remember Sable. Oh, yeah. For my wrestling fans. Alexa Bliss is my baby. Like, not only can she wrestle, but she is so fucking cute. Even without all that makeup on, she is adorable. And she's so little. So, like, I want to toss her. I want to put her in a suplex. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, a lot of the women are super talented, man. Super talented. Uh, I'm not sure. You go, doll. But yeah, Alexa Bliss is pretty awesome. She's probably my favorite female wrestler right now. Asuka's pretty nice, too. She just came up from NXT. Antonio Brown of the Steelers to 199. Your boy watches everything. I'm all over the place. Stefan Diggs of the Vikings to 275. Haven't seen a good MMA match in a while, though. Kind of waiting for Conor McGregor to come back to MMA. But from what I've been hearing, or, or reading, I should say, online, is he might make a move to boxing, which uh, I really hope he doesn't. Really? Sable's married to Brock Lesnar now? Wow. She used to be married to Stone Cold. The Rattlesnake. CJ Anderson of the Broncos to 149. To this day, anytime I hear like glass shatter, I automatically hear Stone Cold Steam music. For my wrestling fans, who has the best theme music of all time? I'm going to say Shane McMahon. Or Vince McMahon, they have. I call them like the. I call them the swaggiest uh, entrances. Miles Garrett of the Browns to one forty nine. Oh, that was Deborah Michaels. I don't know why I thought that was Sable. Yeah, Stone Cold's a white a, a woman beater. Eric Decker of the Titans, 275. He blames it. Like, he's been pretty out front about it. He blames it on, like, his steroid use and stuff like that. Uh, Kyle Harris. I was in the middle of responding to, to people on eBay. The case hasn't arrived yet. So, when the case arrives, I will email everyone uh, and let you guys know when that will happen. It was, hopefully, it should have arrived today. It didn't. Uh, hopefully, it arrives tomorrow. Uh, Devin, how many cases? I have one full case and a half case left so far. Actually, I have two cases, uh, but one of them is for uh, for our website. So, yeah. Jamal Adams of the Jets there, 299 auto. So, as I was saying, uh, Kyle, I will email everyone that's in that break as soon as I get the, the case. Uh, it hasn't come in today yet. Uh, but as soon as I get it, I will email everyone and let you guys know when that break is going to happen. I will not break that until I email you guys, all right? Uh, will I get more? Uh, probably not, Devin, if I'm being honest. But we probably will. We got to see what the numbers look like. Uh, Kenny G of the Lions autograph right there. How many more is Prism website? We're at 13 spots right now. Uh, last I checked. Uh, last eBay break is at 11, so I will definitely be working on the store breaks once I'm done with the eBay breaks. Um, so if you guys want more teams in the prison football, I do have 13 teams available, and really good teams at that. The Bears still there, Bengals hit a bunch, Bills, Zay Jones, Broncos hit a good amount, Bucks always hit, Chargers, uh, Mike Williams, the Chiefs are loaded they're still available Colts still there giants jags rams ravens redskins all teams that hit a good amount still available 
on the website. And it is a full case. It's 12 boxes. It is a full case. Malik Hooker to 25 for the Colts. Philip Dorsett of the Colts again. This one to 275. And that is it for that. So for my wrestling fans, who has the best entrance music all time? Harper, you know, HBK has some pretty swag music too. I got the moves. You know I'm sexy. But I got I gotta say, Shane McMahon's money entrance is money. Christian McCaffrey of the Panthers to 275. Let's put this away here real quick. CM Punk had the best entrance music? He had like some kind of rock song. I'm trying to remember it. Something like that. I love Shane McMahon's entrance music, man. Coco Beware? Dude, that is old school, bro. That's the artist's name, Rick, that, that did that. You know, I, I always actually, I like Triple H's entrance music, uh, too. But that's because he had, he had some dude, well, I, forget, I forget, some dudes. Motor, motor something, motor house or something like that. It's time to play the game. I forget the name of the guy's like group or whatever. But like he recently passed away, man. Old school demolition. It's, it's always nice to see fellow wrestling fans. I know it's fake, but it's real to me, damn it. David Johnson of the Cardinals at 275. Like, now they're starting to, they're starting to, like, steer away from, like, their little PG era. Mike Williams with the auto for the Chargers. That's a good one. Nothing here. Two ninety nine, Jordan Matthews of the Bills. Miles Garrett of the Browns to forty nine. It is good entertainment. It is. Plus, it's always nice to see the divas. And seeing a human being get put through a table is always entertaining. Uh, Ric Flair did not pass away. I would, dude, I hope not. Doug Baldwin to 199 for the Seahawks. I hope not, James Bodine, because I, I would probably cry, like, for reals, if Ric Flair passed away. The Nature Boy? I don't want to live in a world that doesn't have the Nature Boy in it. <laughs> they, <laughs> rah, rah. Juju Smith-Schuster for the Steelers with the instant impact insert. He's been balling lately, too. Kevin King of the Packers to 275. Juju Smith has been eating off Martavis Bryant's stupidities. Yeah, he was close, but he's still alive. He's still wheeling and dealing. Chad Kelly of the Broncos autograph. Dan doesn't let you watch Katie? Whoa. Well, actually, I get it. Maybe because of all the hot, sweaty men on there. I get it. I get it. Josh McCown of the Jets. 
to 49. Do y'all hear that? That's my stomach. Bro, I spent an hour in traffic on the way here. And I left a little early thinking, oh yeah, you know, I packed the lunch, I'm gonna go eat. I was in fucking traffic for an hour. There was like a major accident on US1. Golden Tate, the third of the lines, 275. So I got that food there just chilling, waiting for your boy. Ooh, I see points. 150 of them. I'm gonna have to random those. Ra Ra could have been the president. You know, I think he's better off now. I think wrestling saved your life, Ra Ra. Shelton Gibson of the Eagles to 149. Aw, oh, Katie, I appreciate that. You and Dan are the MVPs. Luke Keekley of the Panthers to 199. You don't want those you, you don't want those troubles, Ra Ra. You don't want those troubles. The president's not fun. If if I was to run for office, I would want to be vice president. I feel like the vice president has all the fun. Like, you never heard of Joe Biden getting in, into any bullshit. It was always like Obama or whatever. Even when W was the president and they had that, that one dude that shot somebody, he ain't getting no, no, no slack for it. Oh, Donald Trump is having fun, but, uh... I heard he was about to get impeached, though. Is there any truth to that? My whole thing with with, Trump, with, uh, with Donald Trump is this. I feel like... He's not the president we need, but he's the president we deserve. If that guy could be president of the free world, anybody can. Yo, I'm down. I'm down to be the anonymous general manager for Raw. I'm not, well, obviously I can't watch it right now. Dude, Flavor Flav could be president, you feel me? Like, Donald Trump is in the WWE Hall of Fame. Like, this motherfucker wasn't wrestling. This dude has reality TV shows. This guy has fucking evidence out there of grabbing women by the pussy. And he's the fucking president? Come on, bro. That's how awesome this country is, is that anybody could be president, bro. Anybody could be president. Like, Donald Trump destroyed that barrier for everybody now. Like, you, like, come on, man. That's awesome. I'm about to go run for president in, like, two terms. I think, I think you got to be, like, a certain age to run for president. That is true. Yeah, you know how many times... Trump has claimed bankruptcy, and he's still a billionaire? Like, how does that work? White power, that's how. He's, he's declared for bankruptcy seven times. White power. Miami's ranked number nine. How do we go back in the ranking despite winning? Like, that don't make no sense. Because everyone else is winning twice as hard. That is true, though. Elijah Maguire, the Jets, to 275. Loopholes are a motherfucker, aren't they? No, I mean, listen, he has the money. With money, you can do anything in this world. Juju Smith to 149 for the Steelers. Hey, listen, y'all help me fill breaks so I can stack my paper. And I'm going to run for president. I would do it. I think I, I think I could be a president. Mitchell Trubisky of the Bears. 
with the illumination insert. I can't be worse than Trump. That's for damn sure. Christian McCaffrey of the Panthers, two hundred forty-nine. Corey Clement of the Eagles with an autograph. Eagles having a decent break. If you guys can hear that, that's my stomach. Let's go Tyreek Hill. Muhammad Sanu of the Falcons to 275. Well, she was never president, though. So, like, she was trying to be. Her whole deal was, like, she was a liar, right? You know, I don't pay too much attention in politics because, honestly, who cares? They're going to fuck us anyway. Doug Baldwin of the Seahawks to 149. That is true. That is true. She was married to the President of the United States and she wouldn't even give my man a blowjob. Like, he had to go and get it from the Secretary. Like, you can't even do your job as the wifey. Come on, yo. I'm kidding, of course, but not really. Jason Witten of the Cowboys to 189. Trump is by far the worst president we've ever. Like, as a human being, he's fucking terrible. Marquise, exactly, Ra Ra. I was just thinking, uh, like, I have the choice between the giant douche and the church sandwich. Like, I'd rather just not vote. I, I just rather not vote South Park style, you know what I'm saying? Marquise Lee of the Jags to 275. By the way, Ra Ra, I don't know if you play video games, but they uh, South Park came out with this new video game called uh, The Fractured But Whole. Uh, and it's actually a pretty hilarious <laughs> game. <laughs> Josh Reynolds of the Rams to 49. Yeah, I don't even know who that was, James Bodine. Probably because he got impeached. Amir Abdullah, the Lions to 99. So much color in the prism. It's so nice. Adam Vinatieri of the Colts to 199. Chiefs in the red zone. Now throw that thing to Tyreek Hill for your boy. All right, I got one box left. Listen, Dan for president, he got the great wifey already. No secretary needed. <laughs> there you go, Katie. Chiefs threatening to score. I am on the delay right now, so there's that. Looks like Alex Smith is at what the three yard line or something. Listen, I was too young at that point to like have have any kind of like input in it. But uh, all I know is Bill Clinton can play the saxophone. And any human being that can play the saxophone is automatically cool as fuck. Like, by default. Dude, don't talk about food right now because I'm hungry. Can you throw the ball to Tyreek Hill? I need Tyreek Hill to give me some points, yo. Alright, this is the last box mojo. Dude, Rick, I lost Aaron Rodgers too. But I have, like, no running backs. Like, my best running back is Derrick Henry. So, that just goes to show you. And Tyreek Hill has been keeping me afloat. But I need him to score right now. I have Jamal Charles playing for the Broncos and Tyreek Hill for the Chiefs. Uh, Tyreek Hill already threw a pick. And Jamal Charles fumbled. I don't even want to check the score right now. 
Drew Brees of the Saints to 149. I mean, it's not like I'm playing for money in my league or anything. It's all pretty much uh, bragging rights, but, you know, bragging rights is everything to me. Trevor Simeon of the Broncos to 199. We do have to do the random for the 400 Panini points there. Martel, uh, Devontae Freeman of the Falcons to 149. What else we got here? We have Darren Lee of the Jets to 275. Money does help. This is true. But only when you have it. And I'm not there. Cameron Meredith of the Bears to 25. Tom Brady of the Patriots to 275. Who did the Patriots play this uh this last weekend? I forget who they played. Bills are looking really good though. James Conner, the Steelers, to uh, 199. Yeah, that's right. They played the Chargers and they barely beat the Chargers too. So I don't know, man. I'm look. Dolphins really need to get it together. We really do. We're four and three. We're kind of still there, but damn it, man. In our two losses, we can't score the ball. David and Joku with the Browns to 75. Here comes the money. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Dollar, dollar. Rashad Perriman of the Ravens to 149. Rick, don't remind Rara. Rara had a, had a little spaz attack earlier today. When he realized that they lost more for Brissett than they did for Garoppolo. Dalvin Cook of the Vikings with the instant impact insert. Joe Mixon for the Bengals to 275. What else we got here? To 149 of the Jets. Yup. Later. Jamal Adams of the Jets. Jets having a good break. That's like their third autograph. And what else we have? Dante Moncrief of the Colts to 75. What else we got? What is this? A redemption for Corey Davis. There you go, Dan and Katie. Corey Davis with the Rookie Auto Prism Purple Crystal. That's going to be number to 75. That goes to the Titans. Corey Davis. Nice. Damn, Dan and Katie. Y'all should go play the lottery and give me half of your winnings. Because I just did that for y'all. And that was the break, folks. Uh, let me put this away. I do have to do the random here for uh, 400 Panini points. Put this away while I'm at it too. All right, 400 points, random time. Let's roll the dice. We're going to go six times in the random. Let me grab the teams. What is this, football? No worries, Katie, no worries. You know Uncle Jesse going to treat you all right. Just make sure you remember me on my birthday. My birthday's November 20th, guys, and I will be breaking with y'all. So uh, I'm not asking you guys to give me money, but I will ask you guys to get into the breaks so I can get you cards, and I can keep some of that money, not all of it. All right, so we're going to do the random here. Four, three, uh, sorry, 400 Panini points, and we're going to go six times. There is the list. Blow that up for you. Boom. Going six times. 
Good luck, guys. Two, three, four, five, and the money shot six. It goes to the Niners. And I think the Niners went hitless, so there you go. That is true, Katie. That is true. I think you got like 1,400 Panini points or something like that. Something crazy. So I, I think, actually, I lied. I think the Niners did hit a Bethard and now getting 400 Panini points. So let's put that away. Now, recap time. Oh, the 900 deal. I'm sorry, Katie. You know, my memory is uh, pretty terrible. When it doesn't involve me, I can't remember shit. Corey Davis autograph for the Titans, Jamal Adams, Jets, Corey Clement, Eagles, Juju Smith, Steelers, Chad Kelly, Broncos, Mike Williams, Chargers, Solomon Thomas, Niners, there, there's one Niner, Kenny G, Lions, Jamal Adams, Jets, uh, no, Katie, DeMarcus Walker of the Broncos, Alvin Kamara, RPA for the Saints. That's a sweet one. Raekwon McMillan, Dolphins. Travis Rudolph, Giants. TJ Watt, Steelers. And Carl Lawson, Bengals. And that, my friends, was the break. It was 2017 Panini Prism Football. Half case break number three. I think it was number three. Was it number three? It was actually number two. So I lied. This was 2017 Panini Prism Football Hobby Six Box Half Case, uh, Half Case Break Number Two. I can't even talk right now. Uh, eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get it out to you.